Happy Friday. It's a red day. It is apparently a red day. We didn't realize it until we both took our sweatshirts off and it was like, oh, <laughs> oh well. How bizarre. That's the way it goes. Um, I'm Dr. Robin, this is Russ. We're the founders of the Whole Food Muscle Club and the authors of the book, How to Feed a Human the Whole Food Muscle Way. And Monday through Friday, we come on and do videos and share information with you. And on Fridays, we like to do our weekend review. So if you missed anything, we can give you a quick wrap up of uh, what we talked about. Right, because the lives for the other stuff, of course, we're on the Whole Food Muscle Group. Right, which the link is in the description box. So if you're not a member of the Whole Food Muscle Group yet, you absolutely should be. I'm going to turn the water off. Yes, and it is absolutely free. It's a Facebook group, so you can just join just it. Just join it. Um, you know, it's a closed group, or it's a not a closed group. It's changed. Private? Private group. So uh, request it, and we will absolutely let you in. Yep. And um, the videos stay there for a week, and then they become exclusive to our Whole Food Muscle Club members on the website, wholefoodmuscleclub.com. So this week, oh, and you know what I want to tell you first. Um, last night, we went to hear Dr. Neil Bernard speak. Um, we're actually working at an event where he is uh, speaking again tomorrow, but we heard him speak yesterday, and I have a whole slew of notes that I took, so I will talk to you about those uh, next week. I'll share those with you. But we took um, his book, The Cheese Trap, with us, and we got him to sign it for us. And he was actually really um, very friendly. Um, I'm very glad, though, that we caught him. We caught him before um, the event. Let's see if I can show you. There you go. Because after the event, he like zoomed Yeah, out. he did. I mean, I saw, he was like, Phew, gotta go. <laughs> he did not pass go. He did not collect $200. He just ran out. Yes. So I'm glad that we saw him before the event. And I, being being who I am, I just walked up and was like, hi, Dr. Bernard, will you sign our book? And then we gave him a copy of our book. And we gave him a copy of our book, right. too. So that was fun. All right, so this week, we can review. On uh, Tuesday, we talked to you about the movie, the new movie that's out, Game Changers, and it's about athletes who go plant-based, and uh, we really enjoyed it, thought it was really good. There were a lot of bodybuilders in it, hence for us being ridiculous. Um, and it, it, I did learn since then that it will be coming out on iTunes, and I think it's going to be $14.99 is the price I saw. So it's coming out on iTunes on October 1st. So if you haven't seen it and you have access to iTunes, that is an option for you. Um, it's very good. And, I, and it will be out on other platforms. Um, I mean, I didn't realize it was $14.99. I think that's, that seems awfully high. but Well, you can have watch parties. Invite people yeah, that's over. true. But it is more than we paid for a ticket to see. Exactly, that's what I'm looking. I mean, the price of the ticket was uh, twelve dollars or thirteen dollars. Thirteen dollars. Yeah, we saw it at IMAX. So. Yeah. yeah. So, but anyway, it is coming out on iTunes. This is the first digital platform on October first. So, if you haven't seen Game Changers and you want to, it will be on iTunes then. Um, the one uh, kind of, I guess. I had with it is it did show a lot of faux vegan food, yeah. which you know faux vegan food is better than than animal product food. It's just not as good as whole food. Mm -hmm. So, oh. <laughs> so as I always say, drop, say, stuff, on drop floor. stuff on the floor. Is as we always say, faux meats and faux foods are really good for the transition period. Yeah. So if you're going from eating animal products and you want to go to plant based, they're good because they substitute what we know and what we're used to as a standard American diet food, like your hamburgers and your um, fried chicken wings and all that type of stuff. Right. So then they have substitutes for that, um, cheeses and whatnot. So it's good as a transition food, but it's not health food necessarily. So uh, transition from one to the next to going into more whole foods. Good. Yes. All right. Um, then we talked to you. I we had a question that was asked of us um, a while back about uh, celery juice. And I gave, a, we talked a lot about juicing and, and different things, but basically um, the studies that show that celery juice is good for you are based on people who eat the standard American diet. And so, yes, if you're eating the standard American <coughs> diet and so, you are not getting enough nutrition, then celery juice is going to be beneficial for you in some ways. But if you are eating whole food plant-based, you want to get the fiber and adding celery juice is not necessary. Plus it's a waste of all the great fiber and stuff that um, your body your body needs. So don't, don't eliminate the nutrients that are attached to the fiber because your gut biome uh, needs those. So that's a really short summary of the question about celery juice. And then yesterday, we tried really hard to not get on our soapbox about Dr. Grundy and his book, The Plant Paradox, where he scares people into not eating lectins, which are in basically all plants, and instead sells them very expensive supplements to make up for it. 
So, um, it, and it's a very interesting thing that a lot of people who eat the standard American diet, when you tell them that you're vegan and that you have to take B12, they're like, oh, you, it's not a good diet, you have to take B12. But then if you ask them, do you take a vitamin? They're like, well, yeah, well, yeah. how come you're taking a vitamin? Yeah, they so, take multivitamins and all that stuff. And interesting enough, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Bernard, Bernard uh, last, night? last night mentioned, and we always talk about it too, regardless if you're on a standard American diet or you're vegan or whatever diet you decide to take, you still should be taking vitamin B12 supplement. Mm -hmm. Because even where we used to get it in animal products, animals used to graze on grass and get it in the dirt because that's where you get vitamin B12 from. You get it the bacteria and then you make it. Right. Mm -hmm. um, they're not eating that anymore. Comments. They're not eating that anymore. They are fed these, these um, GMO grains and whatnot, and so they're not getting the benefit of, of eating the soil and, and making the vitamin B12. And they're supplemented as well. And they're supplemented um, with... I have a brother who's a large animal vet, he's a food veterinarian, and the animals are, are supplemented with B12. Yeah, so... So Kasha said good morning, so say good hi to morning, her, and Kasha. Laura says happy Friday, saying happy to Friday, you. Happy Friday, Laura. Laura, if you're coming up for the Delaware Vegan Festival, please let me know, I'd love to see you. Yep. And... Carol's here. Good morning, hey, Carol. thank you. You have a good weekend as well. Yes. And then Laura, I'm blocked from Grundy's page. I bet you are. Yeah. <laughs> I was respectfully sharing science. No, don't share don't science. Don't you dare do that. You they don't want the that. truth. They want the myth because yeah. the myth sells more. Exactly. So, um, but yeah, so um, that's what we talked about this week. Next week, I'm going to, I will share my notes from um, Dr. Bernard's talk last night. And then um, there are several doctors who are speaking at the event where we are uh, working tomorrow. And so assuming I get to sit in those uh, talks and I'm not actually actively yeah, because we are um, participating, participating or coaching at the time, I will take notes and uh, we'll have, so we'll have a lot of stuff to share with you from events that we're attending. We attended last night and that we're attending to, um, tomorrow. Right. More comments. More comments. Oh, sorry. Or at Scroll. least. Andrea, Andrea, hey! Good morning, Thank Andrea. Thank you, same to you. Um, so anything else that you want to add? about what we I think that's about? it. Other than if you want to actually see the full versions of the things we talked about this week, make sure, again, you go to the Whole Food Muscle group. Mm -hmm. Ask to become a member. You will absolutely be accepted. Um, and you can watch them. Though they're only going to be there for a week. Um, so like when we hit Tuesday next week, I take Tuesdays off from the week before and that's kind of how we do it. Yep. And this week, I don't know what I'm going to make for you on my cooking show that I do in the group, right. but um, I will come up with something. Um, and the video for pea soup that I made last week will only be up until Sunday. So if you want to see that video and get that recipe, make sure you pop in and grab it. Right. And then of course it will be available on a member's yeah. uh, website. Oh, and one other thing I wanted to add. Uh, we did our live Q&A on Tuesday for um, members, ask us anything live Q&A. And some people are having trouble with the replay length, the audio isn't working. So we actually took the camera version that we usually use and it's posted on the website. Right. So if you're having trouble with the link for um, the Q&A, just go to the website. And, and go to the Q&A page. And it, it's there, and we it's uploaded there. it already. Right. So you can get, and the audio is fine on that yes, one. Yes, it's perfect. So. No worries about that. Right. I think that's all I have for them today. I think that's it. All right, we're going to go eat, guess what? Oatmeal. The oatmeal. So with that, we'll say eat real food, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you on Monday. Red Friday. <laughs> it is Red Friday. <laughs>